Welcome to part two of the animation series. And this one will focus on the particles part. We'll create it in geometry nodes and moreover, we'll use the simulation zone. So let's get into it. Now, let's say you want to add some particles that fly off right at the bottom. How do we do that? Well, we need some geo nodes. So let's set this to be geo node editor and hit new to create a new geometry node setup. So what I want to do is I want to distribute points on my sphere. So drag this out, distribute points on faces. And then I want these points to be added to a simulation. So shift A, simulation zone. And we want this point system to be added at a certain point in time, right? So not from the start, but at a certain point. So when I hit shift A and find a join geometry node, there we go. And that basically allows us to add new stuff into the animation whenever we want. So let's just drag that into the join geometry and shift A join geometry once again here at the end to join the particles with our geometry. There we go. So now they are there from the start, but I actually just want them to appear whenever our frame rate is 30, right? It's at the bottom of the animation. So how do we do that? Well, we set our selection to be defined by a time frame, right? So hit Shift A, Scene Time. And now we have a frame output that we can drag out into a compare node. And we want this to spawn if our frame rate says 30, all right? And then we can set this to be a selection, all right? And then it is working, right? So now we have a zero. And boom, we have one, right? So that's basically zero. And then once this hits frame 30, that gives a positive, a one output. And we're going to add uh, points on, well, all the selection, right? The entire part, <laughs> basically. So that is already beautiful. Now, I don't want them to stick to my ball, but I want them to fall down, right? So how do we do that? Well, we have a simulation zone set up beautifully. So we could just hit Shift A and find a set position. And we want to give a value to this set position, right? But I don't want this to go down with a constant value, I guess. I want this to go down with a value that keeps increasing, more like gravity, right? So then what we do is Shift A, we do store named attribute, and we call this vel for velocity. Set so this to be a vector, because we're going to add a vector to that. That is the velocity, the speed of the object. And by default, this is going to be, um, well, a named attribute that is going to be vel as well, because we want to add a constant number to our velocity every time we go through this loop. And that means that our velocity factor, our value, is going to increase every time we go through our simulation node, which is every frame. And that's how we add speed, right? How we create gravity, pretty much, or any other type of acceleration. And then we need to feed our velocity to the offset. And then we need to give our velocity an added value every time we play the simulation zone, right? Every frame. So shift A, vector math, and set this to be subtract, for example, and 0.05, right? And if we do that, and we actually set this to be an instance, right? Because we're working with, no, well, we're actually working with points. So we can leave this at points. And let's play this right now and see what happens. So you can see that our points are actually falling out of our sphere now, right? Beautiful. And that happens only on frame 30. Amazing. Now, I want some initial velocity as well, right? Because I don't want all of them to fall completely down, but maybe move out a little bit as well. So to do that, we need to give the velocity value a random value before we feed it into the simulation zone. So shift A, store named attributes, store named attribute. There we go. There's going to be a vector and this is going to be vel. And then the value, drag that out to be a random value. Right now, I don't want a Z value to be random, just X and Y minus 0.5 to 0.5, perhaps. There we go. And if we now play this, you can see boop, we got a nice random velocity there. Now I'm going to set this to be a bit lower 0.3. There we go, 0.3. Amazing. And let's see how that looks. Right, so that's looking quite nice. Now, they stay the same size while I want them to disappear, those particles, 
And that's very easy. We can just duplicate this, set this to be a float, and set this to be h, right? The h of a particle will be stored during this entire frame loop. And to do that, we need a named attribute that is set to be h. And every time we go into this loop, we need to add a value of, let's say, 0.1. All right, so this is going to increase every time we go through the loop as well. And then after we're finished, we can set this to be an instance on points. There we go. And we can name this instance to be an icosphere. Beautiful. With a radius of, let's do point 0.1 perhaps. So let's go to frame 30. Just be a little bit too big. 0.05. There we go. And then we can set the scale to be a value of one, and we can hit shift A, math. We can actually divide our skill, or let's subtract this with our named attributes called H, right? And what happens when we do that, is that every time, let's just reset this for a sec. There we go. Every frame, our skill is reduced with the H value. Um, however, it also goes negative, which is not really what we want, right? So let's just hit a little switch note, switch, that is a float. And if this value, compare, is less than zero, then I just want it to have a zero value, right? So it doesn't have to go to minus, just keep it at zero. And if it's not below zero, just add in this value, right? So if it is false... We just want that value that we just set up and then add that to skill. And there we go. All right. Particles spawning. Let's set the density to be higher, like 100. There we go. And then one last thing at the end. Shift A. Set to material. Let's create a new material All right there. Hit the plus sign and click on new and name this um, particle. There we go. Then hit that there as well. Particle. That in the shader editor, you can set that particle to be a color of, or let's actually delete this and add shift A an emission, pink, and drive that in there. Now if we play this, we are going to get some emissive particles. Set the strength to like 10, something you like. And you can see we're beautifully adding particles on our bounces. Right, now I would love to have our scene to be dark. So I'm going to set my strength to zero. And I'm going to set my point light to be exactly behind our sphere. Right? So just move it to be behind our sphere. There we go. Let's go back to our camera. Move it up a little bit. And in the data of our light, we can actually set this to be a little bit less. Something like that. And set the radius to be a bit bigger. Right? Like that. And reason why is because I just want those particles to do most of the lighting of my scene, perhaps. There we go. I think it's going to look better in the cycle as well. GPU. Let's do a viewport denoise. There we go. Let's see how it looks. There we go, right? So you actually get some light from these particles in cycles. There we go. Quite beautiful, I'd say. Nice, nice. Now, last final little tweak is let's just set our floor to be very, very glossy there we go and let's just click on our lights object properties visibility and i don't want to see this light in the reflection right so just turn the glossy up there and for this object let's also make it very glossy because that's just nice right and um, well where are we at what's happening ah we're in the wrong material this one set this to be quite rough maybe even some metallic value right beautiful now when we play this and we're near the floor. You can see a beautiful little bounce there. Let's add a little bit of roughness though. Something like that. Beautiful. All right, and let's move our camera closer to the floor as well. It's usually what I like to do. And then let's just make sure that the entire object is in frame. Like that. All right? Bounce. Looks quite beautiful, I'd say. Okay. Amazing. I will just render this out. And will be done. Doesn't that look like fun? So you just made your first looping animation that even has a simulation zone in it as well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, 
please leave a like, a comment or subscribe. We would enjoy any one of those. You can also find our Discord link in the description. And um, in case you want to hang out with some other like-minded Blender enthusiasts or have a fun chat or have a question, we'll be there. All right. Thank you so much and cheers.